Under the major cities in England, you will find massive networks of tunnels which protected civilians from nightly bombings in World War II. In the 1940s, Britain rushed to build these air raid shelters to prevent as many casualties as they could. Today, we head deep down beneath this urban environment to where one of those former shelters was created over 70 years ago. Bizarrely, the power still functions throughout the colossal site. As you will see, it is one of our airiest explorations to date and you won't want to miss it. We begin the episode looking downwards through the 30 meter lift shaft that took civilians down to the shelter. There was also two other entrances coming from underground railway stations. Ringing the elevator is a spiral staircase that plummets any visitor way below ground level to experience some dormant World War II history. As we descended into oblivion, the further down we got, we slowly lost hearing of any sounds from the street above. We were truly alone in the shelter. This city's shelter's construction started when the Second World War begun and were completed two years later. Originally, only the government used them, but as the constant bombing increased, they were opened to the surrounding public. After the war finished, only a couple of the many shelters found alternate uses. Most have either been converted into museums for permission granted visitors to take a look inside, whilst others, like this one, are completely vacant. We had just reached the end of the staircase and entered our first curved tunnel with the outer rim made from metal. Already we were perplexed at something so different. What amazed us even more, and what we weren't anticipating, was that occasional lights still worked. It was almost sinister to look down the long corridor and see a faint glow hundreds of metres away, whilst everything else was pitch black. Whether the power's functionality was due to the nearby railway lines, or maybe even work ongoing in the shelter, we had no idea. Some parts of the chambers have tarp covering the walls, which leads us to believe the government was adding even more length to the shelter in order to fit more civilians in. However, when the war ended in 1945, it was unnecessary, so these parts are unfinished. At this point we found a second layer, right underneath the top one. It was built as a figure eight to provide more room. Two bisecting tunnels had been dug out to form the top and bottom of the shelter. This was one of the first times a two-storey tunnel had been designed and executed, and it must have been a major breakthrough during the war. Nevertheless, we couldn't actually venture into the underbelly because it has flooded over time. This was the constant sound we heard as the underground railway raced past the air raid shelter, vibrating through the ground. Again. 
It was the only thing we could hear. As soon as the noise died out, it was absolutely silent once more. As you can clearly see for yourselves, the shelter is gargantuan. Endless tunnels, and it felt like we could get lost down there. The only practical use that the vacant premises would have would be for it to be used as a vast storage space. At one time, some suggested some interesting living arrangements to be created, and some even suggested for it to become a theme park ride based on World War II. None of this has happened so far, and the only inhabitants of the site is stalagmites and maybe some rats. Finally, we reach the two other entrances to the shelter. This huge staircase takes you all the way up to an underground station. Notice the air feeding pipe running down the staircase, which would have brought down clean air for many anxious people. The curvature of the tunnel was so photogenic and we spent a good amount of time taking photographs to showcase the detail that went into such a needed structure. After climbing four flights of stairs we found that the entrance to the railway station was bricked up and obviously had been for a good while. Therefore, we made the long hike back downstairs to conclude our exploration. On our way out of the dormant air raid shelter, we took a few wrong turns and ended up getting slightly lost. We found more lit bulbs and even the final entry staircase to the shelter. If you enjoyed our documentary on the site, please drop a like on the video and maybe a comment or feedback. We greatly appreciate any support. Again, we hope you enjoyed the video, remember that our donation links are in the description if you wish to help us fund bigger adventures in the future, thanks for watching.